Dear students, in this video, we are going to solve the problem from analytic function. The problem is find the constants a, b, and c if f of z equal to x plus a y plus i into b x plus c y is analytic. Solution. First, you have to write the given term. Your given term given f of z is equal to x plus a y plus i into b x plus c y. Already they are given it is analytic. Okay. Is analytic. Now we are going to check the condition for analytic. What is the condition for analytic? equal to ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx or dou u by dou x equal to dou v by dou y or dou u by dou y equal to minus dou v by dou x. So, we write the given term then we are going to equate here already they are given f of z equal to this term. So, you copy the same term again. So, given f of z equal to x plus a y plus i into b x plus c y. Now, we can take this as f of z equal to u plus i. We already knew that. So, we have to apply f of z this term that is equal to u plus i v equal to x plus a y plus i into bx plus cy. This side I copy the same term. Here I applied f of z is equal to u plus iv. Next you are going to equate the real and imaginary parts. So equating the real and imaginary parts. Now we get The real part is u, u here. The term that does not have i that is called the real part. Here also this is equal to this. These are the real parts. Imaginary part means the term have i term. See that here i is there. Here also i is there. So this is called the imaginary term. This is called the imaginary term. Without i you can copy that. So now we are writing the real and imaginary terms equating. In the next page your real term u is equal to x plus a y comma v is equal to b x plus c y this is u equal to x plus a y the next term v is equal to b x plus c y we compare the real and imaginary parts now we are going to differentiate so dou u by dou x next we are going to find dou u by dou x by the formula we are going to find So, dou u by dou x is equal to differentiate with respect to x. So, dou by dou x of u, what is your u value? This is your u value. So, x plus a y. Now, you differentiate. So, first term you have differentiate. This is equal to dou by dou x. So, dou by dou x of dou by dou x only. You multiple inside. The second term, dou by dou x of a y. I split into two different terms. Or if you are in confusion, this also you can write dou by dou x of x plus dou by dou x of a y. Now, you differentiate x with respect to x, you get 1. So, in the first term differentiation, you get 1. So, answer is equal to 1. The second term you differentiate, you get 0. Because here there is no x term, only y and a. These are constants. So, without x term, the other terms are considered as constants. So, the differentiation of the other terms is equal to 0. So, we get 1, 0 only. So, now you are adding 1 plus 0, you get 1. Therefore, dou u by dou x equal to 1. We write this as ux. Simply form of this can be written as ux. Therefore, ux is equal to 1. So, now I found one value ux is equal to 1. Next, we are going to find uy. Turn to the next side and we have to find the value of uy. 
So dou u by dou y. Now again you take the u value. U is equal to x plus a y. Now dou u by dou y equal to dou u by dou y means differentiate with respect to y. So dou by dou y of write your u value. This is your u value x plus a y. Now you split into two different terms. So dou u by dou y is equal of x plus dou by dou y of a y. The first term x, the second term a y. Now this is equal to, now you can't differentiate. Here x is there, but you differentiate with respect to y. This is impossible. So the differentiation is 0. The first term is 0 y because differentiate y with respect to x. Here there is no y term. So we cannot differentiate. So differentiation 0. The second term here a is a constant. Take outside the remaining term y is inside. I take a outside. The remaining y is inside. Now differentiation of y with respect to y. y with respect to y 1. So a into 1 equal to a. This is called dou u by dou y. This can be written as in the simple format u y. So u y equal to a. Next page again we differentiate with respect to v with respect to x. That's called dou v by dou x. So dou v by dou x is equal to dou by dou x of write the v terms. Your v term is p x plus c y. Now you can split into two different terms. So dou by dou x of b x plus dou by dou x of c y. This is equal to now b is a constant. So remaining x only there. So dou by dou x of x. Here, you can't differentiate because or it takes c outside, you get dou by dou x of y is there. Now, you differentiate x with respect to x that is equal to 1. But here, x with respect to y, you cannot because there is no x term here. So, differentiation is 0. So, your first term differentiation is 1. So, that can be written as p of 1. The second term that is c of 0. So, you get b only. This is dou v by dou x. This can be written in simple format vx is equal to v. Therefore, vx equal to v. Next, we differentiate the same v with respect to y. So, v equal to bx plus cy. We differentiate with respect to y. Therefore, dou v by dou y equal to dou by dou y of write the given term. bx plus cy is split into two different terms. So, dou by dou y of bx plus dou by dou y of cy. Now you take the constant terms outside here b and c are constants. You collect it outside. Therefore you get p into dou by dou y of x plus c into dou by dou y of y. Now you differentiate y x with respect to y. This is x. If with respect to y, you cannot because there is no y term, y square term. So, differentiation is 0. So, the first term differentiation is equal to 0. So, b into 0 plus c into y with respect to y, you get 1. So, the first term totally 0. So, the second term c times 1 is c, you get c. This is called tau v by dou y. This is the simplest form you are going to write. The simplest form of this term is vy. Therefore, Vy is equal to C. Now, we are going to equating. The already they give the condition. The given function is analytic. So, given that, that is given in the problem. Given that F of Z is analytic. So, they are already given in the problem. See that is analytic. F of z that is analytic. So that we can assume f of z is analytic. What is the meaning for analytic? They satisfied this condition. Ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx. Condition must be satisfied. Okay. This condition must be satisfied. So next is you are going to apply the values. What is your ux? ux is 1. vy is c. So, 1 equal to c. Therefore, you get 1 equal to c. ux value, vy value. You apply, you get 1 equal to c. You found an answer. Next, uy equal to vx. uy is equal to vx equal to v. 
u y equal to a. Therefore, b equal to a. Sorry, u y is equal to a. u y equal to a. So, v x equal to b. So, a equal to minus b. So, after comparing, we can get these answers. This is the answer for the A, B, C values. So, here C equal to 1 and A is equal to negative of E. That is for final answers. Thank you.